Hi everybody, it's Emily from Hopscotch Interactive and today I am out in the field scanning a huge warehouse space. So this space is over 65,000 square feet and we are trying to understand the differences between scanning it with the Matterport Pro 2 camera, which is now about $27.95, so just around $3,000 to get started with the Matterport Pro 2, versus scanning with the Leica BLK, which is now actually a little bit more than it used to be. It's starting at over $19,000, so I think $19,077. They each have their benefits, they each have their pluses and their minuses, and what we really want to know is how do they perform when you're dealing with a large warehouse, industrial, or shell commercial space. So let's check it out. It's, it's going to create that. The It'll bottom create patch. that? Yes. So, but it looks like we already have uh, yes. data underneath here. Should we worry about that or should we just put it on top and then not worry about filling that in? Um, we could put it on the side or uh, go into the options. Okay, just a second. Sure. In your case, uh, commercial. Okay, so hit options. So I think different than the ones you have over there. One, oh. we can select the HDR. Hold on. This I oh, need to share. Oh, that's cool. Let me get on this. use the stable. Oh, yeah, come on in. Okay, so... Okay, so we usually don't change HDR at least for the you know for the job, but for is um, is I, three equivalent to neutral? Like what is or is that just like uh, the quality of the images with multiple stops? So is there three stops at each turn? Is that no, the idea? Is that there's three images, three brackets? This is either multiple. I I believe so. Yeah. If it's so HDR, this would be like would if be you changed photos. it, it would be four mm -hmm. stops maybe, and that this is. Mm -hmm. And so it would take less time theoretically. Theoretically, yeah. And what also uh, changes time is whether you're doing a low, medium, or high density, usually less than a minute, two minutes, four minutes. Okay. Uh, if it's a very wide rooftop, I generally do a longer, more dense scan. Right. So I can go and do something else what while it scans. What do you recommend for this? L low is about three feet. With medium, I, I go about 10 feet. Yes. After I've scanned to the next spot. Um, high density is probably at least 15 feet okay so given that, that we really have, depends we have what this looks like to me like it's about this is about we might each of these i think represents what 12 feet so this is like 12 24 uh 36 48 so then if we wanted to do like, like 20 10 scans. feet in each direction or 20 feet in each direction yeah i think like if we do three here and three here we might um you but 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 again, it depends if we're doing medium or high density. Let's do. Um, let's do a med. Let's start with medium. Start with medium. Definitely not low. Okay. I use medium generally for sure. bigger spaces. Okay. So let's start with the medium. That sounds good. All Is right. this the spot to start at? I would aim right here. Is perfect. I think. Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit back from the light, and that way we can see how it fills mm. in the light. Perfect. Cool. Let's give it a try. Let's see. Is this a good scan? I think yeah, it's it looks totally right. fine. So it's a good scan. It's totally fine. So I think four would capture it, but if you want to. No, I bundle think it up a bit more maybe six would do the job i see? think four is fine i think but four clearly is totally medium fine. has a bigger span than than the matter ports that we absolutely have here. Okay. i'm sorry kevin we didn't keep your perfect alignment no i don't care Just look these were perfectly aligned he's worked so hard he's gotten uh, everything look mm, at the geometry and then okay. we're like plop that's okay uh okay so but as long as it captures the space we doesn't need to be aligned exactly right? it doesn't need to be aligned whatsoever i think yeah, it's dropping here a little bit. Right, so maybe we put it next to the window line next. What, how what I'm how did missing? it do the light? It did the light really the, well. The window, this window line is, I think, that one. You're right. Yeah. I'm looking at this all wrong. Yeah, this is us over here. This. In a way, it's a shortcut, but in a way, it's not a shortcut because if you had just spent this whole time doing another six to ten scans, in the area, you would have filled it in anyway. You may have had to have done a cortex conversion, but in this situation, we've added the BLK, so we have fewer scan points. They take longer. They take longer per scan based on the density. If you've chosen low, medium, or high density, it's up to four minutes per scan. Uh, also, probably depending on however many HDR brackets you select, uh, and then that's just going to basically fill in these larger areas so it's it's less or it's more sparse right so the mm -hmm. so the points are more sparse 
but because we have this uh, more robust camera, we're filling in a little bit more data and we need less scans. So I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's truly a, a time savings. Uh, it must be in large, I mean, obviously for large open areas, uh, but I think it's really interesting to see what kind of coverage we get here, like where we don't have this spray, right? And where the black dots are, that's where it didn't collect data. It, it actually removed data from underneath. So anywhere we have this sort of hexagon, mm -hmm. um, the Matterport uh, Nadir patch, then this data will show up as empty in the 3D, in the dollhouse view. Here, interestingly, it's not really a hexagon, right? It's, it's uh, more it, of a circle. It's more of a circle. Closer to a circle. Closer to a circle. And then, uh, yeah, but it does fill in a much larger range. Interesting stuff. And it won't have any problem with the, the sun because it's the LIDAR, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. Super cool. I believe so. You so we could use either the matter ports or right. the BLK t uh, and, and put it close enough that it right. gets covered exactly. with the, exactly. the circle. Exactly. Got exactly. It. That's okay. the part that we're missing is that underneath. And that's, mm. again, if you're just being really particular about it, it looks like a partial eclipse. Mm. but it is mm. all right guys so this has been an awesome day we have had a lot of fun we had already done a large percentage of this property with the Matterport Pro 2 uh, I would say we had probably done about 80 to 90 percent and we were going to try to fill in the gaps with our Leica BLK what we learned is that the Leica BLK can really help us fill in those areas where we have a large space to overcome. And uh, we set it at the low, medium, and the high density, which means up to four minutes per scan at that high density. And we learned that at a medium density, uh, we were able to actually fill in just maybe three scans with the Leica BLK and you know, really make our whole model come together that much more quickly and uh, save some time. And then when we added in the Matterport Pro 2, that meant we could get those detailed shots, uh, we could fill in some of that mesh. And so actually working together, the cameras complement each other a lot. And that was a huge surprise. So. If you're interested in more like a BLK or you're interested in more Matterport Pro 2, let us know, check it out in the comments, tell us what you think, and uh, we'd love to hear more. We are definitely gonna run some more experiments, but I think today was a huge success. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and to let us know what you think. Uh, thanks so much for watching.